Hi, I'm John with the Treasure Finding Rods Company and I've got an exciting new long range locator that I'm getting ready to put on the market here. It's taken about close to a year research and development and uh, extensive field testing and I'm really uh, excited to announce today that it is uh, ready to go and fully functional. So this is the TFR2 Molecular Frequency Resonance Locator. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about this new uh, incredible long range locator uh, device that uh, we just we got finalized. I'm going to be giving a little introduction here on the functions and uh, how it works. And then I'm going to be doing a long distance uh, test demonstration to show you how far this thing can go on a little bit of gold. You can find any type of metal or mineral with this locator. It has a sample chamber right here at the top and you can just place a sample of what you're looking for. You can find meteorites, diamonds, gems, uh, paper money. The list is uh, extensive. It'll find literally anything that you can put in this chamber. So I have a small piece of uh, refined gold down in there, about 18 carats. It's about a gram and a half. And I have today for this uh, test demonstration, I have a two gram gold uh, 1946, I think it is, Mexican gold coin. And I have it buried under dirt, I think about six inches deep. My last testing with the, uh, one of my other locators, the TFR4, I was doing above ground tests, but I also uh, did some uh, deep testing on that uh, in, a, in a deep hole, but I'm, I'm doing a demonstration test today with the TFR2 on this gold coin that's buried, and you will not believe how far, how powerful this uh, extraordinary device is and how far it'll go on this uh, gold coin. So let me go through a little bit of the functions and uh, just give you a quick quick introduction here on this locator. I'm trying to keep it steady here in the camera. This is the uh, power button right here. You can turn the unit on and once you turn the power on then you can turn the discriminator dial and as you turn the discriminator dial to the left it has a whole wide range of weight settings that you can adjust to find the targets that you're the size of the targets target range that you're looking for from less than a gram all the way to 100 pounds and more between 100 pounds and maximum you have a few hundred pounds there to play with and then when you get it on maximum you you're on unlimited weight range so as you turn this dial from the left to the right or the right to the left the signal strength light indicates the amount of power that the TFR2 is putting out see as I turn it to the right it's getting brighter because it takes more power to find smaller targets at long distance range. So you turn it to the left, the signal strength light will dim. So here we have a neutralizer. So when you're changing samples in the sample chamber, one type of metal or mineral to the other, you would use this function and you would wait about 15 seconds and that will completely uh, neutralize whatever previous sample was in this chamber because this unit 
this TFR2 is so powerful that it locks on to whatever type of metal or mineral that you put in that chamber and it holds on to the residual energy field of that sample so when you're changing your samples you would use the neutralizer function so you also have a conduit indicator and this this locator is one of a kind it's I believe it's pretty much the first of its kind on the uh, long-range locator market possibly in the world because I've never I've been using uh, long-range locators dowsing rods metal detectors and different types of uh, frequency locating devices for many years and I've never seen anything like this as far as the power sensitivity and the distance range that this thing is capable of I don't want to give away all the secrets of how it works but I can just say that this thing is working with a circuit board and it's working with it's harnessing the power of very very potent crystals and it's working through the, the crystalline uh, structures uh, waveform technology harnessing the power of crystals and it's it's kind of like a magnetic field generator would be the best way that I could describe it and how it's working. It's working through magnetic fields and crystalline power and that's about all I can say about that without giving away everything. But when you see how far this thing can go on a very small amount of gold and silver, gold and silver samples that I have that uh, this is part one I'm gonna be doing a part two on smaller amounts of gold and silver possibly other minerals but you will be believe me you'll be amazed at what this thing can do so let me get the rod component the antenna rod that plugs into it and I'll explain that a little bit and then I'll try to do the uh, long-distance uh, demonstration test test here weather permitting uh, before it gets too dark okay here we can see the uh, voltage meter I got the camera lens working a little better now you see this is where you would check your your voltage for the TFR2 and you can keep tabs on your dual uh, battery power this thing's working on a dual lithium-ion 9 volt battery system and here in the back you can see that you have two battery covers and I'll just open one of them but you can see that there's the lithium ion 9 volt battery very easy to take the batteries out and recharge them it's re they're rechargeable uh, batteries 9 volt batteries so there's your voltmeter we're at 16.6 .6 volts now so now I'm going to get the antenna rod component and we'll turn this back on and I'm going to show you uh, how you would connect the antenna rod and uh, give you a quick little demo on that. Okay. This is the TFR2 antenna rod component that works with the TFR2 box. And it's uh, stainless steel and it's got an aluminum handle and it's got a jack uh, connector at the bottom. And this is... Uh, it's hollow, partly solid, part, partially hollow, and there, it doesn't have a power load like my other locators because the TFR2 box is generating all the power necessary. So in other words, it's got its own power source inside here, that it, its own little uh, uh, generator that's generating all the power that's necessary that that shoots out through this uh, through this antenna rod so this is more like the directional antenna uh, rod uh, part of the of the device so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here because we're kinda running out of daylight here to do the demonstration test so, so if I can get everything in the camera okay you see the conduit indicator light just came on because I plugged in the uh, the bottom of the of the antenna rod there so you unplug it and 
that light goes out that's that just lets you know that you've established a good conduit so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate also real quick if I have the time here how this has a dual uh, a dual carry function uh, set up here you can hook it to your belt with this heavy-duty belt clip but you can also use a very uh, comfortable padded camera strap shoulder strap type of a configuration and I'm going to show real quick how you would do that okay so here is the the sh padded shoulder camera strap type deal that uh, if you don't want to use it around your waist and you want to free up your waist for other metal detecting accessories as you're hunting then no problem you can just connect the this uh, camera strap it's got these these loops here on the side and you can just connect them just like that and then you can uh, put it around your shoulder you can adjust the length of the of the straps and you can just pretty much you can put it uh, you know you can position it over your chest or on the side on your side out of the way but it can it'll free up uh, your waist for for you know if you're carrying metal detector accessories like little shovels and pinpointers and stuff like that okay so here you go you can see that I've got the uh, so I can show here in the video I've got the camera the padded shoulder strap camera accessory hooked up okay so we I have a uh, piece of refined gold 18 karat gold about a gram and a half in the sample chamber and because we're looking for refined gold on the long distance uh, demonstration test here so I'll go ahead and close that so now we're gonna adjust our uh, disc discriminator dial we're gonna adjust it to the exact weight of the coin that we're gonna be doing the test demonstration on and in this case it's two grams so we would want to put that at exactly two grams so we're on two grams as you can see right there I've got it adjusted to two grams which is the weight of the coin the TFR2 also has a uh, direct voltage uh, connection that the, when you connect to that setting it disables this dial so in other words if you want to hunt a park for coins for example uh, do some coin shooting at a park uh, or look for jewelry stuff like that and you're not sure exactly what the weight range is uh, of, of what you're looking for and you don't want to be limited to the weight range on this dial well no problem you would just connect to the to the jack on the bottom that's uh, on the bottom here that says direct voltage and then what you can do is when you find a target which is what I do you can switch it over to the discriminator dial and you can just start you can start at one gram because most uh, coins and jewelry is between one and five grams and you could just start adjusting the dial here until you get a signal and then you'll know what your target size is before you even dig the hole and that's a pretty uh, pretty good uh, darn good uh, little tool there so let's check the voltage one more time since I got the uh, the camera settings here figured out so we're at 16.5 volts and uh, we're at 2 grams so now let me get the uh, the rod set up and get the camera set up and and we can uh, see if we can do our test demonstration 